Hey guys, this is DK Spencer. So um, this is going to be a little weird. <laughs> so um, here's why. All right, because I'm going to do this all from one one place and one uh, one sitting. But first of all, I got to set up. I got to set up the ground rules here and everything because everybody needs to make sure they're on the same page. So this is a marker I got from Harry Wu. Harry Wu bought it from PSI Defense. It was customized and modified by Henry at PSI Defense. Now, it was posted on eBay for sale because PSI Defense refused to fix it. So, we offered to fix it and then I got a video made claiming that PSI was sent one of my markers to fix. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So this actually is a marker that PSI refused to fix for their customer, and I told the customer I would fix because. All right, I broke it. I could not, uh, some people ask about testing it before I worked on it. Number one, nothing I'm doing to it, unless he buys a barrel, nothing that I'm doing to it is gonna change the performance of it. Number two, I couldn't test it first because it didn't work. Um, so as you could see in the video, well, here, I can just show you right now. There was that much of a chunk of O-ring missing on the heat core. So it, I couldn't have tested it before I fixed it because it was broke. Now, all Henry would have had to done to fix it for the customer and not have had this big debacle and all the perceived drama and then the drama that they did because they thought I was going to make drama and now what I'm having to do because of it. <laughs> But, uh, and like I say, we didn't even make a video that we offered to fix dude stuff. We just offered to be nice. And, and then we get, you know, I get a video made about me because I offered and whatever. So now I'm having to actually make a video to respond. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. All Henry would have had to done was to have changed, was to have fixed this and to have actually secured the pin. Now, if, the customer told me that any securing of the pin was done by by the customer, not by Henry. Well, that's bad on both parts because it wasn't secure at all, either way. So, ne neither one of them accomplished that. Whether Henry tried or not, the pin was absolutely not secure. It was so that you could have turned it with your fingernail. So, it would have failed. That part would have failed even if this hasn't hadn't already failed. So, number one, Henry would have needed to replace this one O-ring and to have secured the pin, which is the number one thing you do when you modify a VKS. The number one thing you do. <laughs> I don't care about a heat core O-ring because you can take one that ain't even got a heat core O-ring in it yet, and if you ain't secured that pin, you can shoot it at 15 joules and break a pin. I've done it. So, I've done it on two mags, brand new, at like 10 to 15 joules right out of the box, broke a pin, all right? So, number one thing that you need to do to keep this thing running is to replace that. The number two thing you need to do is the mil sig O-ring, but this will run just fine, and like, like Kempter has, has run one up to high joules, you know, high enough joules anyway, uh, with just the factory O-ring. But you need to secure that pin. That's the number one thing that you need to do on a VKS to keep it from failing on you. And that's the number one thing that apparently neither the original modifier nor the customer was able to do on this one. Um, it is secured now. Now, does that mean it'll last forever? Absolutely not. But it'll last a lot longer than it. Well, there was nothing. I, I'm sorry, but th that thing was, there was, it was not secure at all. None whatsoever. Now, I still, even if they're secured, you still need to check them. I relock type mine all the time because I shoot a lot more than most people do. But still, check them because, you know, you're shooting a lot. They're high power, blah, 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 blah. All right. So, but everybody needs to understand that nothing I did to them. Well, I'll tell you what. Look, let's, let's make it official. All right. I'm going to take out the power barrel because he hasn't bought it or officially told me he wanted a power barrel. So, I'm going to put it back to performance wise performance wise like it was as it came as it came to me. Alright. So that's you know it looks a lot better but 
Everything's the same. Same ASA. I changed, I replaced an O-ring with the same size O-ring. So nothing I did at this point without the different barrel is going to is going to affect the performance. So, and again, could not test it ahead of time. It did not work. We will test it now. So this is a this is a 900. I mark my tanks uh, when I test them. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is a 900. That's what I've been using on it. So I'll test it with a 900 and see where we're at because it does have the the Sterling ASA mod and whatever. So it should be should be should be stronger than you know a regular one <laughs> with the 900 tank. And I, I'm only going to put six in there because I'm betting these ain't the best detents at this point. Oh, held them. Oh, didn't hold them. Boop. <laughs> Provided I get some more wicks and detents before I ship this thing out, I will put you some of those in. I'm not worried about you guys seeing the impact. I'm just worried about you guys seeing the Fifty four, three fifty six. So that's fifty seven joules with a nine hundred. So I was kind of expecting more than that, really. I mean, this one's fifty two and it's a freaking sawed off little shorty. <laughs> Um, I don't know what that tank does, but we'll see. Nine nine hundred. Yep, right there. So same output. Yep. So, I mean, granted, I got a hopper on this one, but this one has a sawed-off barrel and is within that many. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, now I'm curious. <laughs> through that and then I realized it was a, a <laughs> I realized it wasn't a quadrille. <laughs> Alright, so obviously same balls just pulled them out of that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna top the tank off. Now the same tank, okay? Mine does not have the Sterling mod on it, okay? We didn't drop one out of the barrel on that. Four, four jewels. So that gives four jewels. Okay. <laughs> hey, matter of fact, hey, let's let's do this. Let's be fair to me on this, <laughs> just cause. I guess in the first couple of shots is pretty strong, huh? <laughs> 
three fifty. <laughs> Whoa, 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 now what are we talking? <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, hey, ho! <laughs> All right. So the person that was started typing when I switched back and forth the first time, stopped typing. <laughs> All right, let's analyze that. All right, well, let's look at the results here. All right, so again, nothing I did to this to increase power i just fixed it all right i prevent i fixed the pin so it won't break next week and i replaced the o-ring that was already broke that was it all right in this test i used the exact same tank on both okay so granted this could hit higher numbers but mine would also hit the you know it would be the same percentage of higher uh, if we put a you know higher tank so anyway here we go i gave the advantage to the henry Mo uh, the Henry build with the Sterling mod, I gave it the first two shots out of the little 9CI tank. And as you can see, even giving it the first two shots, we're still less than four joules different between this, which is, I mean, these are as powerful as they get, man. This is it right here. These things over here, man, he builds them pretty. I'll give him that. He builds them pretty, but they're weak, boy. I mean, they're so weak, you can't even stop nobody. I mean, they're just toys, basically. Do you realize how much better my crap looks than theirs? How much longer my crap lasts than theirs? How much more I'm respected than them? And that's what you get out of it? That's your massive power? Wow. I wouldn't put one on the lathe and do it myself for free for four jewels and risk all the other crap. That's just insanity. Well, I don't know. There's probably not too much risk to it, honestly. I mean, it's only four jewels, so I don't know why it would break stuff using it. <laughs> I don't know why it would be useful using it. If you take off, like I say, I gave them the advantage. If you take off the first, the, the two high shots, you're not even but a couple of joules. And you know the first shot out of an air tank's the strongest. So, dang, you guys should probably keep trashing me. I'm enjoying this. I was kind of upset that I had like Roscoe and Boss Hog instead of like Moriarty or the Joker, but... No, this is getting kind of fun. Keep it up. <laughs> Let's see what else of yours we can show how great it ain't. Oh, by the way, you got the devil in your numbers too. What? <laughs>